Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel and welcome to Blender Tutorials. In this tutorial I will explain how to install and run locally one amazing Blender add-on that will enable you to generate 3D models from text prompts or from 2D images. The name of this add-on is Hunyuan 3D. Okay, so over here you can see the add-on window. You can here either specify text or you can click here and insert the image. To show you the image that I'm currently using, see this graph, here it is, this is the image. And on the basis of this image, Hun Yuan 3D was able to generate this amazing 3D model together with texture. We are running this add-on and the AI model completely locally on our computer. That is the AI model is downloaded and it's running in the background. Currently, it's not running since we generated the image. However, if you change a few things over here, and if we click here, the model will start again. Now, you can also monitor the model usage and you can see my GPU memory is currently being used. I will talk about specifications later on. Okay, to illustrate how this add-on is working, let's do a small test case. I will first erase this 3D model and over here I'm going to enter text. Generate a 3D model of a cell phone. Okay, and let's make sure that generate texture is being selected and let's keep the same inference steps resolution and guidance scales and let's click on generate model and let's see what's happening here now in the background you can see what's happening inside of this command prompt the model is running you can see that the model has received the text prompt and you can see in real time the generation process now if you click here you can see my GPU usage NVIDIA RTX 3090 and it's going to take some time to generate this 3D model. And after approximately one or two minutes, here is the model. Looks really, really amazing. Also, on the back of the model, you have some logos, you have even some small details, which are very interesting. If you click over here, you will see the mesh, which is also very interesting. And you can see the model without the texture over here. It's really, really amazing. Okay, let's start with the model installation and then later on we are going to add this model to Blender as an add-on. First of all, let's talk about hardware. I tested the model and the add-on on my NVIDIA 3090 GPU with 24GB of VRAM. And here is my advice and suggestion. If you are able, get NVIDIA 4090 or NVIDIA 5090 GPU. This is because 4090 and 5090 are significantly faster GPUs compared to my GPU. Then, I'm running a machine that has 64 gigabyte of RAM. I don't think that the RAM is really crucial. You might even go with 32 gigabyte of RAM. Then I'm having Intel 9 i9 processor. Also, I don't think that the processor is crucial. The main thing is GPU. Then I installed Blender and the model on Windows 11. I'm running Python 3.12 and here is one very important remark. To install this model you will need to install the CUDA compiler and PyTorch. Unfortunately the current version of PyTorch doesn't work on Python 3.13. Consequently to successfully install the model on Windows you will need either Python 3.12 or Python 3.11 and I'm going to explain later on how to install the proper Python version. Then you will need the CUDA compiler that comes with the NVIDIA CUDA toolkit. This will be explained in the sequel and you also need Microsoft Visual Studio C++ compilers that come with the Microsoft Visual Studio Community Edition. Okay, so let's start with the software installation. First of all, open Google and search for Microsoft Visual Studio C++, then hit the first link, then over here scroll down and click on the Community Edition. Microsoft Visual Studio Community Edition is completely free. After you click on Community 2022, a file will be downloaded. You just click on the file and install the Community Edition. It's straightforward. Next, 
you will need NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit 12.6. To install NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit, search for NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit 12.6, hit the first link, then click your, on your operating system, click on the architecture, your Windows version, and click on executable, and you need to download this file. After you download this file, simply run it, and you will be able to install NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit and compilers. Next, you need to install Git. To install Git, search for Git for Windows, then click here, click on 64-bit version, click download the file and install it. Finally, you need to download the proper Python version. To find your Python version, search for download Python, click on the first link, and over here, scroll down to find the previous versions. I tested Blender and this add-on on Python 3.12.8. So click here, go all the way down and download the proper installer. In this case, this will be the installer. Okay, let's start with installation. Click on start and search for command prompt. Over here, I'm going to resize this window such that you can see what I'm typing and at the same time, you can follow the commands which are written over here. First of all, we have to verify that we have NVIDIA CUDA compilers installed on our system. And if you see this response, this means that you have properly, properly installed NVIDIA CUDA compilers. Next, test Git by typing Git. And if Git is installed, you should see a generic reply. The next step is to clone or to download the remote repository of Hunyuan 3D. To do that, you just need to search for Hunyuan 3D2 GitHub. And over here, if you click on the first link, you will see this address over here. And that's the address that you need to copy. Or you can simply type this address over here. And to clone, make sure that you are on the C drive that is at the root of C drive and type git clone and this address. This will download the remote repository. Next, let's navigate to the downloaded repository and here are the files. These files are the complete copy of the files given over here. Good. The next step is to create a Python virtual environment such that we can install all the libraries for compiling the model. First of all, run this to create the Python virtual environment. Then to activate the Python virtual environment, execute this command. You can see that the environment is activated since in parentheses you will see environment 1. Next, let's install the necessary libraries. Let's make sure that we have the Hugging Face Hub library. Wait until everything is downloaded. And the next step is to install PyTorch with the CUDA support such that you can use your GPU. To do that, you need to go again on Google, search for PyTorch locally, and click on the first link. Then scroll down. Click on Stable, click on Windows, click on PIP, Python, CUDA, and over here the installation command will be generated. Copy this command, go back in the terminal, and execute this command. Here it's very important that you select CUDA 12.6 since you have already installed CUDA 12.6 compilers. Consequently, you need to install the proper version of PyTorch. And this command might take a while maybe even three to five minutes since you are downloading around three gigabytes. Next, you need to install sentence piece library. To do that, just execute this. Then you need to install the required libraries and packages. And to do that, just execute this command. And this command, again, might take a while to execute since you are probably installing around 30 to 50 Python packages. Consequently, be patient. Next, let's install the texture model. To do that, you need to navigate to this folder. And in this folder, again, you need to run this command. However, this command will actually call the NVIDIA CUDA compilers as well as C++ compiler. And consequently, cross your finger and hope that you will not see any errors. Warnings you can completely ignore. Warnings are not important. And so let's 
be patient and wait until this command completes. It might take again one or two minutes to complete this command. Next, type this command to go to the base folder. And then let's navigate to this folder such that we can install the differentiable render and again run this command and hopefully you shouldn't see any compilation error. Okay, ignore the warnings and this is it. Good, let's now navigate to the base folder and let's test this installation before we proceed further. To test the installation we actually need to execute this command. Besides testing the installation, if you run this command for the first time, what will happen behind the scenes, the model weights will be downloaded from the Hugging Face repository. And consequently, it might take a while to download everything. First time you run it, it might even take 10 to 15 minutes to download the model weights. And this is just the first step actually to in the second iteration, when you want to run the add-on in Blender, you will not need to run this command. However, when you're installing the model, you need to run. So relax now and wait until the model weights are installed and the graphics user interface of testing the program will appear in the web browser. That is, we will manually open it later. Okay, so after you see this screen, this means that everything is downloaded and you can proceed with testing the model to test the model open the web browser, open a new tab, and then type this address and press enter. And you will see the Gradio graphics user interface. Over here you can drop the image. For example, I'm going to use an image from my downloads folder. Here it is. Here, remove the background. You can select the options. Let's go with quick generation, only let's say 18 iteration and click here to generate the shape. And now what will happen? The model will run in the background and here you're just testing the model. Later on you will integrate it in Blender. So you can see over here that my GPU is being used, memory is here and let's wait until this model generates this image or actually the 3D model of this image. And after several minutes or maybe less than a minute, depending on how fast is your GPU, you should see this 3D model. If you see this 3D model, then the model is properly installed and we can continue further. Don't forget to close this API on this address. And let's continue. Here, press Ctrl C to stop the server. Okay, the next step is to start the API server for the model by running this command. And here's one very important remark. Now we are installing the add-on and installing the model. When you want to use the model, that is after we install everything, you will just go to this folder, activate the Python environment, and you will just execute this command, and then you will go to Blender and you will be able to use the model. However, for the time being, we need to follow all these steps. And press enter. What will happen now? Since this is the first time we are executing this command, additional model files will be downloaded. Consequently, be patient. It might take even several minutes. However, next time you run it, it will just automatically start the model. And after some time, you should see this info, UVCorn running on this address. And this is very, very important. This means that the server and the API are running in the background and we can go to Blender and install the add-on. So let's learn how to do that. Click on start and search for Blender. Over here I'm using Blender 4.3. I didn't try the installation on other versions. So click here. Let's erase this box. Then click on edit. Click on preferences. Then click over here on add-ons. And we need to install the add-on over here. To install the add-on, expand this arrow and click on install from disk. And then you need to locate your Hunyuan folder. Go to C drive. Here is the folder. And over here, you need to click on this Blender underscore add-on Python file and click install from disk. And over here, you can see that something is being installed. Okay. Now make sure that the model is enabled over here, then click on save, actually we have to click on here 
and click on save on preferences good and now we can start using the model so let's do a test first of all close over here click on view and over here let me click here click on sidebar and if you have properly installed the add-on you should see the Hunyan 3D2 menu and over here it's very important that you enter this API URL it should be automatically entered over here however it's not being if it's not being entered you have to manually enter it. and let's start with image generation or better to say generation of a 3d model from image click here let's go again with our test image I will go with this image then let's now change the number of iteration for example to be 15 I'm just doing a very very coarse 3d model since I don't want to waste time in this video tutorial and let's click over here to generate the 3d model and once you press this thing you should see post start image to 3d go back to this terminal and you'll see something is happening you can see diffusion sampling you can see bunch of stuff over here let's now wait until this model is generated so I can show you how to start the add-on and this model when you want to use it and over here you can see the generated 3d model looks amazing this even cute this dog even has small mustache which is really really cute this is really really amazing okay and finally let me explain how to use this model when you don't want to install everything so let's close blender let's don't save go back to this terminal over here press ctrl c to stop everything and let's close the terminal and let's start from scratch so let's say we want to use this model click here search for command prompt start the command prompt then you need to navigate to your folder and inside of this folder you need to activate the python virtual environment not a big deal since the python virtual environment is already created you'll just run this to activate it now you're active and then the next step you need to do is just to run this command to start the api server and that's it you're starting on this host and on this port and just wait until the server is loaded let's wait until the server is loaded now you're basically loading even the model inside of the memory and depending on how fast is your GPU and computer this might take a while so let's be patient then after you see the screen you can start blender then over here make sure that you press view sidebar here the model will appear let's again test it let's provide the image accept let's go with for example 15 inference steps and finally let's generate the texture erase this box and click on generate 3d model you can see that post start image is being passed go over here and you can see that everything is being created and let's wait until the model is being created to make sure that everything properly works and here is the generated model click here to see the shading and here it is looks beautiful okay that's all for today i hope that you like this video if you like the videos i'm creating please press the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next video tutorial